Welcome, yeah, Brian Dolan. Dolan. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. By the way... You and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something, so I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment. Made of human skin. A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Till next time. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. 
Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vega, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is. Just in case. I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane. Except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seemed sad. Do you... She's in the midst of a crisis of fate. Of... This one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hierarch Square uttered not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Oh! He... he ran out the other door! Catch him! Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. For it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, the only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but... Usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Bruises, broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder, not just the name, but the place too. Won't get away this time. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. 
Gotta get to crippled Kate's fast. Let's go! Not so fast, Roach. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Discount. Whoa! Heroic deeds. Hey, handsome. Well. <laughs> no one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You, though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again, you disturbed me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. What, no foreplay? No formaldehyde? Coals in my eye sockets? What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. Then you'll pay again. For her, for all the other women you've tortured. Shut up. You're free now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. He asked if I did everything, and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was here in the poker, in the fire! <laughs> Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. 
He won't hurt anyone. Top of me. run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire. Higher, of course. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the Church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city, its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. There are other ways. Could have set up a soapbox in Hierarch Square, preached from it. How funny. That's exactly what I did. But none listened. Instead they laughed. Threw stones. Give a thought to my victims. A lecherous woodcarver who'd spend his last copper on whores. An old countess who defiled symbols of the faith. A Trebiritz for whom nothing was sacred. Nothing above ridicule. They did not deserve to live. But their deaths could be a lesson to others. Awaken them, scare them onto the correct path, the path to the fire, to cleansing, to salvation. For you, I'm afraid it's too late. You are a man of little faith. I sense this. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty good with a sword. Pretty good. Might not cut it.
better, right? Y yes Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah, the witch's way. Thank you, Geralt, for me and Priscilla. Don't mention it. Nothing a friend wouldn't do. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I, her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Need to get to Skelliger. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever sailed there? Listen. The Islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Lord did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had Captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough Skelliger for a lifetime. Decks to shine right. like the silver of the Emperor's table. You're the captain.
loot that, Ryan. They say the Isles of the Lord have no God. Bloody lies. Where's the mirror? You captain of this tub? What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the Black Ones, all attack us in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverston from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the Golden Sturgeon. As for Flask, everyone knows him. Captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, Captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our Skellig, carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Here. That enough? Sack like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. The sea goes one way, Wolverston the other. Makes the rock unbearable. So, ready to set sail? Let's go. Uh, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune. To the strength of my Atropos. <sighs> Anchors away! Back off, or I'll kill you. 
I'm not afeard of dying. Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap, I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah, thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a witch a care Trolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. That scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch got Croc wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it. But a hag's a hag. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. What's your name? Stainbrim. Well, Stainbrim, I don't like you. In fact, I feel like slapping you. Go ahead, Drifter. You try. <laughs> Had enough? Uh, best finish me now. Cause you'll be fucked once I catch my breath. It was a good fight. That's enough for now. Know the way to Kertrolda? I expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Siren Den. Gotta ruin it for them.
magic. A place of power. Our time amongst the living is but the wink of an eye. You need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Ernest should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. It is her decision.
You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together, they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You smell wonderful. Geralt, we're at a funeral. You smell wonderful at this funeral. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twirsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. I haven't seen each other in two years. I want a solitary cottage by the sea. I want to lock myself inside with you. Stay there for a week. What would we do there for a week? Got so many ideas. The one with the rope you use for trophies. That one seems interesting. Reading my mind again? Hmm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler. Baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this Baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Siri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Siri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf. Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. Guess our solitary hut will have to wait. 
crack on crates someone we want on our side. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. <laughs> 